Newton's forward interpolation formula is an interpolation technique based on forward difference method. The use of Newton's forward interpolation is situation specific, which means this method will give you best result under certain specific conditions. What are these conditions? At first, the interval of differencing h should be a constant. We know that the n plus 1 independent variables are x0, x1, x2, etc, xn. These values, the consecutive values should have a difference of h between them. Or we may write it as x1 minus x0 equal to x2 minus x1 equal to x3 minus x2 equal to etc. xn minus xn minus 1. This is the first condition. Then there is a second condition. This method is best suited when the interpolation has to be done at the beginning of a set of tabular values. So interpolation should be at the beginning of a set of tabular values. Then uh, there is a third condition uh, which is quite common to all types of interpolation whether it is Newton's forward interpolation or Newton's backward interpolation or Lagrange's interpolation whatever be the interpolation there is a third condition and this condition is that the interval of differencing h should be very small. If this is uh, satisfied then we will get very good results. Now we shall start deriving a formula for the Newton's forward interpolation method. Let y equal to f of x be a continuous function which yields n plus 1 values y0, y1, y2, y3 etc. yn corresponding to uh, the n plus 1 independent variable values x0, x1, x2, etc. xn. The values of x are equally spaced, which means x r equal to x0 plus r h, where h is the interval of differencing. Now let's assume that there is a polynomial, say phi of x of degree n, which yields the same values y0, y1, y2, y3, etc., uh, yn, corresponding to the n plus 1 x values, x0, x1, x2, etc., xn. If there is such a condition, if there is such a polynomial, then we may write that f of xr equal to phi of xr, where r equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., which means f of x0 equal to phi of x0, f of x1 equal to phi of x1, and so on. For all other points other than these n plus 1 x values, uh, the relation could be written uh, something like this f of x equal to phi of x plus r of x, where this r of x uh, is called the error term, the error term which uh, represents the error in the value predicted by the interpolating polynomial phi of x. Uh, this error term is otherwise called the remainder term. Our aim is to minimize this r of x to 0 or to uh, the least possible value so that f of x equal to phi of x. Let's assume that f of x is almost equal to phi of x and phi of x is a polynomial and we may write the polynomial as a0 plus a1 into x minus x0 plus a2 into x minus x0 into x minus x1 plus a3 into x minus x0 into x minus x1 into x minus x3 plus etc plus a n into x minus x0 into x minus x1 into 
x minus x2 etc. into x minus x n minus 1. So this is the nth order polynomial which is phi of x. We need to determine the constants a0, a1, a2, a3 etc. A. For that let's put x as x0. So this becomes f of x0 equal almost equal to phi of x0 which could be written as y0 equal to a0 plus 0. The rest of the terms become 0. So a0 equal to y0. This is our first constant. Let this be equation 2. Let's put this as equation 1. Now put x as x1. Then we will get f of x1 which is almost equal to phi of x1 equal to y1 equal to a0 plus a1 into x1 minus x0 plus the rest of the term times become 0. Or oh, this is y1 equal to a0 is y0 plus a1 into x1 minus x0 is h. Or from this we can calculate a1 as y1 minus y0 by h. This is delta y0 by h equation 3 because y1 minus y0 is the first forward difference of the leading term y0. Likewise, we can put x as x2. And we will get f of x2 equal to, for almost equal to, phi of x2 equal to y2 equal to a0 plus a1 into x2 minus x0 plus a2 into x2 minus x0 into x2 minus x1 plus 0 or y2 equal to a0 is y0 plus a1 is y1 minus y0 by h into x2 minus x0 is 2h plus a2 into x2 minus x0 is 2h into x2 minus x1 is h. So we can cancel h and what remains are y2 equal to y0 plus 2y1 minus 2y0 plus 2a2h square which is y0 plus 2 in fact it is minus y0 plus 2 y1 plus 2a2h square or 2a2h square equal to y2 minus 2y1 plus y0 which is delta square y0 the second forward difference of the leading term y0 or a2 could be written as a2 equal to delta square y0 by 2 h square which is equation 4. So following this procedure we will see that a3 becomes delta cube y0 by 3 factorial into h raised to 3. This is equation 5. Likewise a n the constant a n becomes delta raised to n y0 by n factorial into h raised to n. Now let's put these constants in the equation for the polynomial and we get it as f of x almost equal to phi of x equal to y0 plus delta y0 by 1 factorial into h into x minus x0 plus delta square y0 by 2 factorial into h square into x minus x0 into x minus x1 plus etc plus the last term delta raised to n y0 by n factorial 
into x square into x minus x0 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 into etc into x minus xn minus 1. Let this be equation 7. This could be further modified by putting uh, x minus x0 by h as p. So putting x minus x0 by h equal to p x minus x0 equal to ph. So x minus x1 will be x minus x1 equal to x minus x0 plus x0 minus x1 and this is ph minus h. This is equal to h into p minus 1. This is equation 8. This is equation 9. Then we will have x minus x2 uh, as x minus x0 plus x0 minus x2 which is x minus x0 is ph minus 2h which becomes h into p minus 2 equation 10. Following the same procedure we find that x minus xn minus 1 equal to h into p minus n minus 1. This is equal to h into p minus n plus 1. This is equation 11. Now putting these results in equation 7, we get f of x, which is almost equal to phi of x, equal to y0 plus delta y0 by 1 factorial into h into x minus x0 is ph plus delta square y0 by 2 factorial into h square into x minus x0 is ph into x minus x1 is h into p minus 1 plus etc plus the last term delta raised to n y0 by n factorial into h raised to n in fact this is h raised to n into x minus x0 is ph into x minus x1 is p minus 1 into h into etc finally x minus x n minus 1 is h into p minus n plus 1 now rearranging this you will get this h and h gets cancelled h square and h cancels likewise all h terms get cancelled from the equation and we get the final result as y0 plus delta y0 by 1 factorial into p plus delta square y0 by y0 by n factorial into p into p minus 1 into etc p minus n plus 1 this is f of x which is equal to phi of x this is newton's forward interpolation formula now the error term or the remainder is the n plus 2th term of the polynomial and the n plus 2 term can be written as r of x equal to delta raised to n plus 1 y0 by n plus 1 factorial into p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 into etc p minus n. This is the error term in Newton's forward interpolation formula.